Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be your weekly general reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of January 7th. Wow. I hope everyone had a wonderful New Year's. And I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting noticed. And all the thumbs up on the videos and the comments. And for, like I said, all the new subscribers. And thank you. All right. The first card out is the Queen of Swords. So, getting clear with somebody. You know, making judgment calls. Understanding what your next moves are. So, for many of you, it seems like this is a week for moving ahead. You know, cutting things out of your life that is no longer needed or required. You know, you're very... Um, careful of how you're talking to people as well and you're very you know skilled at seeing things for what they really are this week so you're taking up you know your proper place moving forward you're you know you're delivering news if you have to to people you're facing the truth you're you're not taking advantage of anything or anybody you're just finally telling everybody around you that you're a little more open-minded than what they had you know, put you on that shelf at, and you can make a very good, clear call when you need to for yourself. And the King of Pentacles. All right. You want to make some investments for yourself. You want to make sure that you're more independent. And you're looking into how to invest for yourself. You don't want to have to be reliant on anybody. You would like to be able to give to others and not have to feel like there's lack for yourself. So you're really looking into many areas of how to make your money work for you going forward because you want more creature comforts in your life, which is very understandable. And you're willing to do the sacrifices if need be to see them come to light. And the lovers. Very nice. So there's choices here for you to be made. And you're making them this week. You're, you know, making sure that you're in a partnership with somebody who respects you, who gets along with you. You know, it's, uh, and if it's not, then, you know, you'll definitely do what you need to do. Otherwise, you know, this looks very promising for all of you. You know, this is better uh, careers, Positioning moving up in ladders in some cases. This is uh, new relationships. This could be taking your relationship to a next choice in life. You know, maybe you're decided to get married, move in together, have children, you know, all those sort of things, you know, but this is a choice for yourself. You're making choices that make you feel better about your life. But there's definitely new relationships. And it's going to come in really fast. For some of you, you've sort of got an idea of who this person is. For others of you, nope, you don't. And But it's going to surprise you uh, nicely. It, you're going to be quite pleasantly surprised. And this could be a get-together, going out. But it's something really fast coming into your life. And the hermit. <laughs> it's going to make you take a step back a little bit for yourself. You know, you're searching your soul if, you know, and all the wisdom that you have for the next steps. And you want to make sure that sometimes you have to make a retreat within yourself in order to realize and, you know, just go through your memory banks and understand what your next step is for yourself. So you're taking a time out and that's a, probably a good decision. You're not making anything in haste. You're really contemplating what your next moves are. And the Ten of Rods. And you're letting people take responsibilities for themselves. You're no longer carrying the burdens of everybody around you. Now, this could be in, you know, a family life. You know, maybe you've tried to help somebody for, you know, a while, but they've sort of taken advantage of it. And you're realizing that, you know, they need to stand on their own two feet. This could be in a work situation where, 
you know, you've went above and beyond and got no recognition nor pay benefit of it. And you're just tired of it. So you're laying that down too. And the five of pentacles. Yeah, there's been, you know, some sort of financial hiccup in your life for, for quite a few of you, you know, or this could be just your mindset thinking that you don't quite have enough to, you know, succeed at what you want or buy what you want or get yourself out of debt, but you do and, and you will make it happen because you're a lot more savvier with money than you give yourself credit for and you're moving on you because you don't want to be in that mindset anymore. And the nine of cups, there it is, wish fulfillment. You know, this is um, something that you wanted for yourself for quite some time. Something that makes you feel uh, satisfied on the inside as well as the outside. And this is emotional stability, luxuries, you know, um, the good things in life that you wanted for yourself. And here it comes. And you're going to be pleasantly and happily surprised that, you know, for many of you, it was there all along. You just didn't really quite shift yourself enough to realize all of what you've already accomplished and succeeded at yourself. Ooh. And the page of cups. So definitely creative objects and projects and just people in your life. Now this could be an actual happy surprise for many of you. Um, this could be a dream person coming into your life. Somebody that really is something that you actually fantasize about not just them and and you get together and it's so wonderful and you know maybe you've talked to this person for years but you've you always liked them but you never really felt that way and then you get together and it's like wow you know surprise i should have you know trusted my instincts a little bit better and stepped up quicker but you're going to be really happy when this happens. This is like the icebreaker. You know, something's going to come out of the blue and it's going to finally dawn on you what your next path is for yourself. And you're very thrilled about it. And the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you are making sure that everything that comes into your life now is for you. You know, your bank accounts are going in the right direction. You have plenty of food in the house. Bills are paid. You know, there's money in the bank. You're making good investments. All that sort of, to others, you know, may look like it's just frivolous stuff. But to you, it's what makes you feel content in life this week. So you're, you know, it doesn't matter what others think. It all comes down to what you think this week. Ooh, and the Seven of Cups. So look at you. You have wonderful, creative ideas for many areas in your life. Your, you know, your wishful thinking is going to change your direction going forward. Now, this can be in a job, a relationship, a home environment, all of the above. But something is showing you the next step that you need to take. And once you start to take that step, another one's going to present itself along the same lines of what you've already chosen. But you're sort of now starting to follow a map of what your next steps are because you want all that's in those cups. You're just picking one at a time, succeeding at it, and then moving to the following one. And the two of rods, there you are. You're definitely planning for yourself for progress, to move forward, to succeed. And you're discovering as you go along that you're leveling up on each time you, you know, complete something. And for others of you, this could be, you know, making travel plans as well now because you can afford it. And you're looking out into the world going, okay. Where would I really like to go and what would I really want to see when I get there? So you have the whole world and all the potential in it. And now you're asking yourself, okay, take one step forward at a time and I will succeed at every wish I want. And the star card. Yeah, you are definitely have 
great expectations for yourself. You have faith in yourself. You're rewarding yourself. You know, and the more you do that, the more the universe is helping you. So you are moving forward in so many wonderful areas of your life. So congratulations for that. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card. But your cards are all about positively growth, a new relationship coming in for many of you. So that's beautiful. All right. You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. And there you go. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.